Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about something that a woman wanted to know or wanted some tips for herself. So she's in her early 40s, she's a professional making about 220 grand a year. She has climbed the corporate ladder and is looking for a good guy to settle down with. Over the past several years, we've seen this in a lot of magazine stories that appeal to the boss female type that claims there are no longer any nice males. The kind of ladies who complain about having a hard time finding a nice guy yet want to be in those magazine covers where five different women pose wearing suits looking all sassy together. I'll explain why in a moment. There are actually just three basic reasons and you guys will never learn the truth from any of these magazines. We're about to embark on something that won't be charming and adorned with butterflies and rainbows. You're having trouble in dating in the first place since there aren't many people you can date. Women are by nature sexually promiscuous, which implies that they always seek out the larger and better arrangement. If you're a working woman in your 40s or 50s, you've advanced up the corporate ladder. You've made a lot of money as a lawyer, a doctor, or someone important to modern society. Several bits of paper are framed in mahogany and displayed on your wall telling the world what you've accomplished. On paper, that appears fantastic, but the reality is that, in general, men are not drawn to degrees. I'm not aware of any male who has ever commented look at the degree on that lady. Simply said, men don't work like that. Women view males as objects of achievement. Men view women as objects of beauty. That is the stark reality regarding men and women. When you advance up the socioeconomic ladder as a woman, earning all this money, doing corporate jobs, and doing other things of that kind, you probably already purchased and or paid off your home. You know you're good because you drive a lovely automobile with a German emblem. Since you only date up and across, your dating pool is much less. You receive a salary of $250,000 annually. You only date men who have a salary of at least that much. I'll connect it to a different reason why it doesn't work out for you females as well. That takes me to my second point, which is that successful guys who you'd like to date and who you believe would be attracted to your bossiness or sass tend to go out with younger, sexier, and more amenable women. Guys simply do it that way. Men are success objects once more. The goal of beauty is women. Women in their early 40s just cannot compete with women in their early 20s. They are youthful. They are more attractive. They still have a very long life ahead of them. Their fertility is higher. If you've read about evolutionary psychology, there are a good amount of explanations for why guys do it, and it applied to everyone in the globe. There is nearly always a chapter or section of the book devoted to attraction levels and from surveys from all over the world, from all cultures, and from every region of the world where men are shown images of attractive women from the ages of 18 right up to 70. And guess what? Men mostly like women in their early 20s because they find them more appealing. No amount of societal pressure, magazine articles, or other attempts to modify this relationship have ever been successful because men have always viewed women as objects of beauty. Like we're starting to hear a lot of advice like, men should only date women their own age, or fat acceptance rules. That's fine and all, but what does men's behavior indicate to you? When you've climbed the corporate ladder and accomplished all of that, you have a smaller pool of potential dates to pick from. For men, what's left of the dating pool to choose from typically consists of younger, hotter women rather than ladies of their own age. This gets me to my third and last point, which is the characteristics that men often search for in women in that age range. I myself went through this and have seen that ladies in that age range are typically not long-term relationship material. I'll explain why. In general, they have seen it everything. They have a count of notches. Small children, occasionally from multiple dads, are frequently present. Additionally, they may be extremely unpleasant in some situations and nearly intolerable in others. They are unpleasant to be around. These successful women are seeking for better grade guys, but they aren't interested in you since after a long day at work. They don't want to come back to arguments and petty issues. They are seeking peace. They are seeking kindness. They are seeking a woman who can make his house seem like a home. Really, that is all it comes down to. These three factors are the key causes of why many of these women are having trouble meeting nice guys. It's basically the way the sexual economy operates overall. Simply put, they aren't the kind of women men in their age range are seeking. The fact that many of these successful women have made a lot of money, have a nice home and car, and frequently go out and meet these younger guys in nightclubs and bars, and simply pick them up, hook up with them, and do their thing with them until they end up in a relationship. Also speaks volumes about why there are so many younger guys dating many of these older women. I'm going to add that the younger guys I know are approximately a decade younger than many of these 40 and even 50 year old ladies who choose to date these older women simply because that's what they get. 
and you know these wealthy ladies view these younger men more as objects of beauty at that time since many men in the older group are incapable of or have trouble functioning in the bedroom. Things aren't running smoothly or as they used to because they haven't prioritized taking care of themselves. Therefore, many of the older women will begin dating some of these younger men since men their age are often dating younger women and they are avoiding the disagreeable old women who occasionally also bring children with them from their previous marriages and husbands. Simply said, men don't want to accept that. Few individuals will be willing to express the truth since it is a hard, cold fact. I hope the explanations I've given provide some clarity since this woman asked for my opinion. And if I could give any of the younger women out there any advice, it would be this. In your youth, choose a man to settle down with, because beauty is on your side when you're young. Age is on your side. But in 10 years, it won't be the same. Some women in their late 30s or even early 40s wish to settle down and have kids. To them, I can only say that you're 42, or in some cases, 45. Your window for becoming pregnant is almost over. You can encounter all types of issues, such as high-risk pregnancies, IVF therapy is frequently required to induce pregnancy. The most crucial thing younger women can do is show interest in a man's future rather than his current financial situation, because it will be difficult to find a man your age who is millionaire if you're 23. Someone who fits this description may be in his late 30s or early 40s, but if you want to start a life, look for a person who has a promising future. Guys are more interested about a woman's background. What did her history look like? Does she have many affairs under her belt? Men have to add value. They must develop their own identity. If a woman is going to compromise and climb the corporate ladder and then at 42 decides she's ready to have children, she will have a difficult time finding a man since many men are not interested. Women need to maintain their value and make sure that they give something of value to a guy. They are more drawn to someone who is more likable, younger, and has lesser baggage. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in.